Today we're going to multiply and divide fractions. First, to multiply fractions, you need to multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. And then check to see if you need to reduce or simplify. For, so first we're going to multiply the numerators. 3 times 4 is 12, and 5 times 8 is 40. So we have an answer of 12 fortieths. Now looking at that, I know that I can reduce that. So what I usually have my students do is create the factors of 12 and 40. So we list them out and we look to see which one is our greatest common factor. That will make the reduce, reducing quicker and easier. So I can see that I have 1, 2, and 4 in common with 12 and 40. And I see that 4 is my largest factor that they can both be reduced by. So we're going to go back and divide the 12 and the 40 by 4. And when we divide 12 by 4, we get 3. And 40 divided by 4 is 10. So our simplest answer to the problem 3 fifths times 4 eighths is 3 tenths. Now we can also look at multiplying mixed numbers. To multiply mixed numbers, we need to first change the mixed number into a fraction. So we need to multiply the whole number by the denominator, so 4 times 1, and then add 4 to the numerator. So 4 plus 1 is 5. The new numerator is 5, and the denominator remains the same. So again, we're going to multiply the whole number by the denominator, so 2 times 2 is 4, and we're going to add to the numerator, so 4 plus 1 is 5, and the denominator stays the same. And now we're going to multiply across the numerators first, we get 25, and then we're going to multiply the denominators, and we get 8, and then we need to reduce and simplify. So 25 over 8 is an improper fraction. That means that the numerator is larger than the denominator. So we need to change that improper fraction to a mixed number. In order to do that, we divide. So we need to divide the 25 by 8. So 25 divided by 8 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24 and we're left with a remainder of 1. And then we simply follow our, from our answer around, and we see that we get 3 as our whole number, 1 as our numerator, and 8 as our denominator. So our answer to five, 1 and 1 fourth times 2 and a half is 3 and 1 eighth. Now we can also look at dividing fractions. In order to divide fractions, we need to multiply by the reciprocal to get our answer. And I usually think about three different words here, same, change, then flip, meaning find the reciprocal. Now a reciprocal is simply a number when multiplied by its reciprocal is always one. So for instance, for our fraction down here, we have 1 fourth. Its reciprocal is 4 over 1. When we multiply them together, we get 4 over 4, or 1 whole. So when a fraction is multiplied by its reciprocal, the product, or answer, is always 1. So going back to our dividing fractions, we're going to first do same, keeping our first fraction the same. Then we're going to change our division sign to a multiplication sign because we want to multiply by the reciprocal. And the reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4 over 1. Now again, we multiply across and we get 4, or 4 times 2 is 8, and 3 times 1 is 3. Now we, you see we can have an improper fraction again, and we need to change that to a mixed number. So we're going to divide 8 by 3. 3 fits into 8 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. 8 minus 6 is 2. And we're going to start with our answer and follow our way around. And we're going to see that we get 2 and 2 thirds. So 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth equals 
2 and 2 thirds. Now we can also look at multiplying, or dividing, I'm sorry, by whole numbers. So to divide a whole number by a fraction, we first need to change the whole number into a fraction. So 4 is our whole number. 4 whole is the same as 4 ones. So we can put our 4 over 1. We've now made our 4 into a fraction, 4 over 1. And now we, again, need to multiply by the reciprocal. So we're going to keep this the same. We're going to change the division to a multiplication. And we're going to flip this or find the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2. Then we're going to multiply our numerators across and our denominators, and we are left with an improper fraction. The 12 is bigger than the 2, and you'll need to set up a division problem. 2 into 12 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. We have a remainder of 0. So our answer is 6, 6 whole. So 4 divided by 2 thirds is 6. So really we're asking here, how many two-thirds are there in four? And the answer is six. We can fit six two-thirds into four. So we looked at how to multiply fractions by their numerators, then their denominators, and then reduce. And we also looked at how to divide fractions by multiplying.